I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin. In this video, we're going to have a look at the top three best play to earn games coins you might want to consider right now. So I'm on Statista. Nothing in this video is financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. And I have the NFT games with the highest player count in the last 30 days as of January 10th, 2022. There is a huge discrepancy between the amount of players, but I'm taking into consideration more players on a certain game, more interest, more demand for the token. So because of the recent Bitcoin correction, or at least the Bitcoin dip, which apparently even today keeps on dipping, as we can see the last seven days, it has gone down and the last month it's in a linear downward trend, basically moving all the way from November down, 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 down. And how low can we go? Nobody knows. What I am looking to do is make entries into crypto gaming projects. And I think these might have great opportunities. So I will check Alien Worlds, Axie Infinity and Splint the Lands, compare basically where they have been to where they are right now and see what the opportunity is just to getting back to the all time high, not specifically looking beyond the all time high, just looking at the all time high and see how far we could potentially reach. If we look at Alien Worlds, it did start with a huge pump and has been quite stable ever since. Uh, it reached about $7 almost, and this was back, back, back in April 2021, so almost a year ago, and has been quite stable ever since. It has a daily uh, volume of 75 million, so a lot, fully diluted, just under $1 billion, 906 million. A market cap of 82 million sitting at about 9% current circulating supply. Available on Binance, KuCoin Gate, FTX, all the major exchanges here are listed, so it's extremely accessible. Also, no huge pumps because of these listings, right? When we look at the last month, the last three months, we can basically see a downward pattern. So this basically going from here to here is almost 100% gain, right? Do keep that into consideration. Although the numbers are low, it is quite significant. The last year, basically this part basically messes up the chart a little bit. But when we remove that part, you can definitely see some significant pumps when probably major exchanges were connected, the volume increases or any other major announcement. To be 100% transparent, I'm not familiar with Alien World or how it works, but it is a play to earn game. Can we watch a little bit of a trailer, what it looks like? Okay, so it's just seems to look a little strange. So it's NFTs, Trillium, is the token that they use and then they have i assume they have a really large following let me just check twitter yeah 116,000, right so this is one of the biggest games being played um, the trillium token is i assume the main token here that has the most interest when we would look at something like this right the reason i'm making a top three here is we would say what happens when it rebounds. So when I take all data into consideration, being at an all time high of $7, I don't think it will rebound from nine cents to $7. However, I would take into consideration the all time high cutting off basically that first month, right? So we're basically looking at a subjective all time high of 81 cents. If you want to do it perfectly and take that $7 into consideration, you would have to know why it specifically pumped on that specific moment, right? Which I don't know. And we also don't have time to figure that out. We're just looking for the flip opportunity, which I mean, 80 cents is still a nine X from this point, right? Nine X brings it to 81 X. So nine X on a reversed pattern in the market would be significant. When we look at something like, well, let's say 52 cents, that's still 4X. So I would say most of the crypto gaming opportunities currently are about three, 4X, right? So if we zoom in a little bit more here, we can definitely see the downward spiral as of the last month, uh, tradable volume going down significantly. So this must be like a major announcement or a new exchange listing, because look at that volume. It's going basically from, 100 million here to 200, 300 million. 
uh, 1 billion. So this must be 1.2 billion. This must be like some Binance or FTX listing, I assume. And then it just basically goes down, but the volume has also significantly gone down, right? Just back to 50 million, 50 to 100 million, depending on how, where you look at it. Obviously, the later you look in the day, the more volume has been accumulated. But it's currently sitting at about 75 million last 24 hours, which still is not bad for a coin that is only ranking on market cap 391. The thing I'm considering basically is that because it has a user count of 1.1 million, um, that is in the last 30 days, right? So that's extremely significant. We can even pull out this list and it has like a huge list of all kinds of games, uh, which I might all cover on this channel very soon. But in the play to earn space, 1.1 million, basically Axie Infinity not being at the top, that is huge. So Alien World is definitely something to do some research on, to basically have a look at what the, well, perhaps the long term benefits but even i would say the short-term recuperation of the change in direction in the market could be what it would offer for this specific alien world token right so that's number one secondly we're going to have a look at their classic axie infinity so we don't have to search that far because it's still a top 100 coin it is ranking on place 39 at the moment sitting at about 44. $745. It has gone through quite the dip again today. Last seven days, linear downward trend. Last month, linear downward trend. A little bit less linear than all the other coins. And the last three months definitely has lost about 75% of its value. Looking at the all time chart of Axie, it's obviously been around for about a year and a half. Crypto gaming bull run really took off here. November achieving the all time high of let me put that chart like this of about 160 dollars then on the steady decline so we would basically compare this axie is still being literally the number one i would say play to earn blockchain game they have to first move red advantage they have a lot of money they are rapidly expanding right so if you're sitting on a bunch of cash it obviously gives you options uh, current market cap about 2.7 billion making it the thir rank 39 largest Cryptocurrency fully diluted at $12.3 billion, but there's only a 23% circulating supply. Then you have about 300 million in tradable volume, which is, I would say is extremely significant, right? Still, although it is slowly on a decline, I mean, $300 million, that's still significant. And obviously we see Binance, Coinbase, FTX, Gate, KuCoin, again, the bigger exchanges. It is not as big of a volume as we might expect, but uh, I would say 300 million is still really, really significant, right? Now, again, making the calculation back to the all time high, you see that there's less opportunity. Uh, Axie Infinity is keeping a lot more stable during this dip. Yes, it lost 75% of this value, but it's only basically a 4X back to its all time high, and not even, right? So a 4X back to the all time high, where other coins have already lost like 7, 8X. Uh, opportunities, which I would have to take into consideration where this would be as it has the first mover advantage as it being the number one play to earn game on the blockchain, right? I would say there's a lot less significant risk and therefore the price also haven't mo moved down that significant. So if you're not that, um, if you don't really have that high of a risk tolerance, right? I would say Axie Infinity would be the right bet. Uh, you can even have a good opportunity staking this token, right? Because they offer some good APR uh, during this potential short and or long term bear market movement. But you're basically looking at a 4x return. Uh, I mean, this um, game is definitely proven enough. So it's on 486,000 watch lists, right? And if we go back to Alien Worlds, right? It's only 143. So definitely this has lost a lot more of its value, right? A nine X downwards and X infinity is definitely holding a lot stronger, has a lot more reach, although it has less significant players. This report doesn't take into consideration how much these players are earning, which I also think is important for your relative consideration. So obviously you need to work with the data as it is presented, but also 
always make sure to do your own research and use your fucking brain right so alien worlds if these people are earning let's say or most of them are free users are not earning anything right or they're earning 10 cents a day and these users are earning 25 dollars a day on average yes it's half of the user count but it's way more significant in terms of the investment opportunity and or potential the adaptability or not right and those are all things you should take into consideration when exploring so it's not solely about hey how many users yeah that, that makes it fine there are a lot, a lot of variables that have that you would have to take into consideration. And that's basically what is making it so difficult. Apart from the token, they have like NFTs. Most of these products have NFTs and all kinds of other things that you might want to focus on. For number three, we're going to splinter lands. There we go. Splinter shards is the currency. Splinter Lands, also a game that I haven't really looked at as of yet, uh, but I did see it come on my radar multiple times. So I should take some time to investigate this and see what the actual opportunities are. Uh, it has to do with NFTs, I'm pretty sure. There's like more of a card game style as it appears. I've never looked at it to be fair, but tournament prize awarded $5 million already. So obviously that is quite significant and it's looking, uh, I mean, it's looking clean, right? But I don't really care much about the looks. I care more about the price going on the all time chart. It peaked at about a dollar 10 and this wasn't too long ago. This was literally only six months ago, right? It did a great rally upwards again. Uh, during the crypto gaming bull run peak, it wasn't as active as normal because this peak happened like a little a month before. Usually the all time high should be around here, which this one is basically has been on a steady decline ever since. Uh, running at a current market cap of around 37 million, it does show good opportunity, 10 cents. Um, but the question is, I don't assume, but we'll just take out the IDO because the listing is usually quite volatile. Then you need some consolidation period, which it went through. And then basically I would count this as the first all time high, right? Let me just check the markets real quick. Gate, right? No Qcoin, no Binance, no FTX. There's, there should be still some relative opportunity here. Um, when we pull this back to the chart, we're looking at about 90 cents. Yeah, a little over 95. So this is again a 9.5. Going into the smaller projects, volume only 2 million, 12% circulating supply, uh, 316 million fully diluted, a little high on the fully diluted already value, 37 million market cap. To be fair, I don't know much. I just look relative to the volume, right? Uh, it is has been on a steady decline slowly, just losing its value along with the lines of Bitcoin. So that's not too crazy. But this one is basically 9.5x to the all time high, where you're going to go into the lower market caps, lower users, lower, well, lower users compared to Axie Infinity, not even that much, right? Not even that much. I do consider that. Uh, but there's like a downward pattern. So the volume is significantly less because there's no major exchanges involved. Could be an opportunity on one hand if your risk tolerance is high enough. Right, so this project definitely carries a little bit more risk because it's not as easily traded. There's not as much volume. However, sitting at about 9.5, uh, 95 cents here and here 10 cents, that's a 9.5 X that if the market reverses might be an extreme opportunity that you could take advantage of, right? It, it doesn't look like it's a crappy game. It lo does look like it's operational. I don't know much about this. I do know a lot about Axie. That's why. So, but it has 55k followers. So that's not bad. I think this was incubated on Cdefi. I'm not too sure. But when we look at all the information, so there's like a strong, clear FAQ available, um, which is obviously also important for the adaption. How much can you earn? Well, I don't really know. I'm not really into the play to earn. I'm more into the crypto gaming investments. Right, that's my side of things. That's why I also share my opinion on this YouTube channel about this top three gaming opportunity. But you see, there are a lot more opportunities to consider. I would say the more you go down the user count list, the more significant the risk becomes, right? So do take that into consideration when you're trying to uh, forecast, estimate where the market is going and when to make your entries. Because the worst thing you can do is enter when this has done a 4X and it can only do a 2X from there, 
right? In my opinion, the best thing to do is take a little bit more risk, enter a little bit too early perhaps, but then ride the wave towards the all-time high when the market conditions change and everything turns around. So those are the top three crypto gaming NFT games that have high potential right now and you could consider buying based on the user activity, which I would say is one of the main indicators that the token is in high demand. If the game is being played, the tokens are being utilized and have a direct utility already, then it makes sense that the supply will be limited at some point, the demand will be there, the price moves up, and even when the market turns around, this will have a direct impact. So I would say even, I, I consider the top three in this video, you might even consider the top 10, but obviously on this channel, there are many more videos to come. So I'll be sure to cover each and every one of them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.